Welcome back to our online class. Today we are on day eight of Islamic studies. Today we will focus on the mosque, the house of prayer for the Muslims. It is also called masjid or mosque. For you to better understand this lesson today, I would want you to go ahead and read the document that I have given you in the assignment. It's from the DK Publishers, the Islam book. Read through those four pages and you will find the answers for most of the questions that I have posed in this assignment. And of course, as you read, I hope you understand the concept of mosque in Islam. However, there are three questions that you may find it a little daunting to answer because you may not find it in that document that I have given you. And that is, can Muslim couples get married in a mosque, like how Christians get married in the church. Why? Interesting question. In the Muslim culture, society, marriage is a social custom, social ritual, social ceremony, and therefore they do not tie it with religion. Moreover, the mosque is a place of prayer. You do not need to have this wedding in a place where people go to pray. Furthermore, in a wedding, there are people from all walks of life plus age groups, from children to adults, from old people to young people. And wedding is a joyous occasion. And so they do not like this to take place inside the mosque because to them the mosque is a holy place where children should not be there. And there shouldn't be laughing, laughter, whatever. That is not the kind of things that happen inside the mosque. And so Muslims will not have their wedding in the mosque, unlike the Christians. For us, wedding or marriage is a religious, spiritual ritual. We believe that God blesses the couple. And the reason why we like to do it in the church is, as you will find in the last two questions, and that is we believe the Spirit of God resides in the temple or wherever there are two or more people gathered together to worship God, God's Spirit comes there and He blesses everyone. And therefore, we like to do it in the church so that we have a special blessing from God towards the new couple. The other two questions that I post at the end of our worksheet today and that is, God told Moses to build him a sanctuary. Here's what Exodus 25, 8 says. Have the people of Israel build me a holy sanctuary so I can live among them. My question is, based on this statement in Exodus 25, 8, how is the purpose of the mosque different from a Jewish synagogue or Christian church? The answer is actually in that statement, as you can see. God is asking Moses to build him a temple so that he can be with the people, close to the people. His spirit can be in the temple. Unlike in Islam theology, where God cannot enter his own creation. Therefore, inside the mosque, there is no spirit of Allah. Allah is not there. He cannot come down to his own creation. He's above his creation. And therefore, the mosque does not house the spirit of Allah. Whereas in the Bible, it clearly says, God says, I want to live close to you. Now, moving on to our last question. When two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Matthew 18, 20. This is what Jesus said. Now, based on what Jesus said in Matthew 18, 20, why do you think it is important to be respectful when we worship in the church, auditorium, classroom, or even at home? So why should we be respectful when we enter place of worship, whether it be at home when you're having a worship or even in the classroom when we are having worship? Why should we be respectful? Because as the Bible verse says very clearly, that when two or more gather together to call on the name of God, what happens? His spirit comes among them and God is right there. 
And this is the reason why we need to be respectful, knowing that his presence is right there. So these are the three questions that you may not find in the document that I have provided. These are something that I want you to think outside the box. The rest, you can find the answers while you read. And so once you're done, please turn in your work before the period ends. That's all for today. I'll see you on our next video.